Hello everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, I'm a certified holistic nutritionist. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And in today's video, I want to talk about how to have more balance with food or how we can go about having balance around our food choices. I think that we all want to strive to nourish our bodies with nutrient dense foods as often as we can, but how do we go about having more of that wiggle room and kind of inviting in that balance, inviting in other foods that we can enjoy just for fun and just for pleasure without feeling bad about it or guilty about it or feeling like we need to make up for it in some way. That is what today's video is all about, how to actually have more of that balance in our life with food and be okay with it. When I say balance, I also mean understanding ways that we can create more kind of balanced, satisfying meals and ways that we can do that. So we'll talk more about that as well. And I just feel like this is such an important subject because I know from my own personal experience, from the different food experiences that I have had over the years, um, it has been so important for me to work towards having a better relationship with food and being okay with having more balance and not stressing out so much about food. Um, so I think this is a very important subject. I hope that you enjoy today's topic and let's dive right in. I want to start with a mindset shift actually that I really encourage you to make in your life and that is realizing that no single food can make or break your health. It's true. There's just no single food that can do that. The same goes for a day's worth of eating. Of course, this is excluding certain foods if you have allergies or a medical condition, but aside from that, um, overall, in general, there really is no single food that's gonna completely make you the healthiest person ever or completely destroy your health. It's just not gonna happen. The state of our health is made up of many, 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 you know, weeks and months of choices that we make over time. And of course, we want the bulk of our diet to be made up of nutritious foods, but eating some of our other favorite foods sometimes isn't going to ruin our health. It's so easy to feel like there's this wagon that we can't let ourselves fall off of. And like if we've eaten a certain food or if we had a couple different foods over the past couple days, you know, we've completely ruined it for ourselves. We've sabotaged our health. Um, we've fallen off the wagon. But what I want you to know is that there is no wagon. There's no wagon. There just isn't one. Every day is so different when it comes to the foods that we need, that our bodies need, our preferences change day to day. And that's okay. That's just life, life goes on, and it's important to embrace that. Number two is to avoid intentional and also unintentional food restriction. Depriving yourself intentionally can look like, you know, telling yourself you can't have certain foods or limiting what you eat because you don't think that you should be eating it, things like that, or dieting in, in those kinds of ways, um, whereas, Restricting yourself unintentionally can be like things like missing breakfast or um, just being really busy and kind of forgetting to eat, those kinds of things. And what happens when we do kind of de deprive ourselves in these ways is that it leads to a much more imbalanced way of eating and a, a much more uncontrollable experience that we have with food. And the reason for that is because it makes us become so much more hungry. So there's a couple of ways that we can go about this to make sure that we are fueled through the day. One, of course, is to just make sure that we're eating enough food through the day. We're not forgetting to eat. We're not going too long between meals, making sure you're having your breakfast and you're bringing your lunch and eating snacks, that kind of thing. But of course, we also want to make sure that we allow ourselves to eat the foods that we want, which brings me to my next point. Let's talk a little bit about this and why this is so important. Allowing yourself to eat the foods that you desire. And it sounds like, well, of course, why wouldn't you? But a lot of the time we feel that there are a number of foods that we can't have or that we shouldn't have. When we are kind of depriving ourselves of food in that way, it puts that food in this kind of place where it gives it a charge and it makes it something that we want to have so much more, but we're not letting ourselves eat it. Now you might be thinking, well, 
if I let myself eat whatever I want, then I'm gonna eat you know, the whole box of cookies or the whole bag of chips or whatever it may be. But just remember that restricting yourself actually has the opposite effect. It actually makes you want that food so much more and it makes it a lot more difficult for you to eat foods in just a very balanced, sort of neutral way without feeling like you need to gorge on an entire bag of food. It's kind of just the psychology behind how we feel when we aren't allowed to have certain things. I talked all about this in my video on um, reasons why you may be overeating, so I will leave that video linked below. I kind of talk more about this. You can understand it a little bit better. But let's extend this point here and talk about pairing your favorite fun foods or treats with fat and protein and fiber. When I talk about like fun foods, what I mean by that are just, you know, the foods that you enjoy for fun that have a flavor that you love. Maybe it's chips, maybe it's french fries, maybe it's like a treat that you love. Um, but pairing those with some protein and some fat or some fiber can be a wonderful way to balance them out and to help them to be a little bit more satiating and to kind of add that little element of nourishment into it. So for example, if you, I'm just gonna use chocolate here as another example, or like potato chips or french fries, um, pairing that with a hand full of mixed nuts or some fresh fruit or having a salad with a burger for example just to balance it out make it a little bit more well-rounded and more of a balanced meal which we're going to talk more about actually creating balanced meals in just a moment um, but this is such a wonderful way to still enjoy the foods that you want to have while still making them a little bit more nourishing and more balanced and also add in some more of those blood sugar balancing elements as well when it comes to protein and fat and fiber and you might often find that when you do this there's less of that need to eat the entire bag of potato chips or you know eat the whole thing of cookies because you're making yourself feel a little bit more full and a little bit more nourished and satiated by pairing it with a couple of other more nutrient dense things next is to enjoy those fun foods very mindfully so the best thing that you can do um, you know as, as much as possible is to really take a moment to fully be present with and fully take in the flavor experience of some of your very, very, very favorite foods. Because a lot of times what happens is we sit there and maybe we're eating this thing, we feel so bad about it, we're stressing about it, we're eating it really fast and we're not even enjoying it. Maybe we don't even really want it that much, but it's there and we're just sort of eating it you know, um, but when we can pause and just pay attention to how I feel when I'm eating it, I'm gonna really notice the tastes and the textures, and I'm just gonna be really mindful. It's gonna help to enhance your experience with those foods so much more. It'll help them to be a lot more satisfying as well, and it just allows you to take that moment to pause and to reflect on how you're feeling. All right, and lastly, I wanna finish things off just by touching on how we can build a balanced meal in a really easy way. I did talk about this in my video on Nutrition 101, but I just wanna share it here again, just because we are talking all about balance and eating in a balanced way and having more balance with our food. Um, and that is to use the plate method. This is a visual tool that you can use to help you to remember how you can better pair protein and fat and carbs and non-starchy carbs with your meals so that they are more balanced and you can feel your best when you're eating. Now, quick note, this is not something that needs to be so strictly followed at all. It's not something that you have to stress over. It's just a really simple visual tool. So what this looks like is half of your plate should have your non-starchy carbohydrates. So think your fruits and veggies, you know, broccoli, zucchini, cauliflower, carrots, leafy greens, things like that. So it gives you lots of um, fiber, lots of color. Um, a quarter of your plate should be protein. So this could be from different meats or it could be from beans or lentils or tofu. Another quarter of your plate should be from starchy carbohydrates. So this could be things like rice or potato or sweet potato or pasta. And then you should have a little drizzle of some fat somewhere along there to also up that satiation factor. And then that flavor is also really important to help you again to feel the most satisfied. And this comes back to enjoying the foods that you love. It could be your, you know, your favorite marinade or your favorite dressing or sauce or just topping that you love the taste of will really help to make um, your meals so much more well-rounded. They're tasty, lots of textures, lots of flavors. 
all kinds of those um, macro nu nutrients in there that just makes it nice and balanced. So that is it for today's video, how to have more balance with your food and your food choices. I really hope that this video is helpful for you. I hope it gave you some little tips on how you can go about hopefully kind of improving your relationship with food. Um, like I said, this is absolutely a topic that I can relate to. I have, you know, definitely been through my own experiences with needing to work on improving my relationship with food and just getting to a better place of welcoming that balance into my life and not stressing so much about every little thing that I'm eating. Cause I know that that can be really easy to do in the, wellness world in the health and wellness world um, but it's important not to stress so much because stress is j j even worse perhaps than eating the cookie so that's it for today thanks so much for watching and leave me a comment below if um, you have any tips to share as well on what helps you to feel more balanced with the food that you eat i would love to hear from you and i'll see you in the next one